Coach Wright, uh, Adam, his staff, and um, men's water polo getting 112. That's big time. Uh, UCLA in a national championship and beating USC today. So congratulations to them. We got uh, we got a lot of lot going on with uh, soccer and women's volleyball and uh, football getting a bowl bid. So it was a pretty special day on our campus with a lot of good things happening. And it was obviously uh, the biggest highlight was getting number 112. So. Uh, congratulations to, to Water Bowl. Uh, as far as our guys, um, you know, the start was a, a little different. I, I thought we did some good things, but we got a couple quick fouls uh, on Isaac, which didn't put us a little bit out of rhythm. And I thought he was tremendous in the second half. Uh, that was really good for us. But um, you know, the play of, of Bryce and Kavon continues to be really consistent, and we needed their consistent play today. Uh, I thought both of those guys. Uh, did an awful lot of good things um, at both ends for us. Uh, when we had we had some moments when we were obviously struggling, and we knew this was going to be a good test because Billy and his staff do a good job, and this is a this is a very dangerous team. So overall, very pleased that we were able to get that that win in the second half. Wasn't pleased with our our toughness in the first 20, and I think if um, if you want to press our guys, they can probably tell you at halftime I questioned their toughness too. So um, I thought they came out and they answered that bell much better in the second half. Was that toughness or lack thereof most noticeable on the boards? I know you guys ended up with the leading the rebounding battle. Yeah, what was it at half? I don't even think I looked at a stat Stop sheet at halftime. My blood pressure was so high that I couldn't read the stat sheet. So I'm not sure I saw stats. Down five. Yeah. So we were down five and a half, and we win by four. So we win the second half by nine. So, and we have it. I think this is our what is it, our eighth or ninth game? Is this our ninth? So we're seven and two, right? Yeah. All right. So my my unless my blood pressure is high again, this is six and two. Um, but I, I think what we were doing with the I think we played nine games now we haven't been we haven't been out rebounded in any of the games so that's been a strength for ours you know you're starting to develop identities it's not there yet it's still a young team that's that's learning and, and I talked to him about that after the game about the things that we got to continue to learn um, not committing fouls that are in inopportune times and where we have to deal with foul trouble that that puts things the best late game plan that you think you might have when all of a sudden four, three, four, five minutes in, you're dealing with substitution issues, that's hard on a team that's not real deep yet. So um, we talked about that. and But the board play has been consistent. And other than two free throw blockouts in the second half, our board play in the second half was really good. But we can't, those are, it's a pet peeve of mine, but uh, free throw blockouts are huge. I think it costs us five points uh, just off free throw blockouts. Seem like the same type of deal with uh, like getting attacked on the inside in the first half. Was that also toughness? Was it something else with the defense? Yeah, and you know we got with with Tony and and uh, Thomas. Obviously Thomas, we got a young player, and I thought both of them were much better in the second half. Um, you know the the first half, I thought they had their way with us, and the second half it was much better. And we talked about it. Uh, in fact. Um, um, Bill Walton was so kind, uh, even in, in shoot around, to be able to talk to talk to the guys a little bit. And uh, you have to do your work early, and that's not just offensively; it's defensively. And it's something that Tony and, and Tom have got to learn because you can't play behind. You, you play behind at this level, uh, you might be able to get away at that in high school. But at this level, they're too good, and we have to make catches of the post a little bit harder. And, I thought we did that a little bit better in the second half. We defended the pick and roll better in the second half. We were more active. Um, we forced a little bit more turnovers and deflections because we didn't force very many turnovers or deflections in the first half. And I thought second half we were much better at that. What kind of challenge did uh, Johnny Deep present, especially for from beyond the arc? Well, he, he's such a, a good shooter. I, I told talked to him after the game about it. You know that um, you know he comes in averaging 21, and, and I think. You know, and he's not, he doesn't impose his will because he's 6'5". You know, he's about six foot, six foot one. Uh, but he cuts extremely hard, and he's got a, a tremendous stroke. Uh, this is an individual where he stays healthy. You're looking at a 2,000-point score in college, which is, you know, that's special. And um, so, and he's doing that where he's getting everybody's best. You know, we, we did basically went no help uh, off of him, and he still gets 22. But I thought Isaac did a much better, much better job uh, in the second half. 
uh, in the first half. He got a little bit of foul trouble, but uh, we controlled, controlled him a little bit better, I thought, in the second half. And, uh, and then we did a good job uh, on Anderson. You know, we didn't let him get going. He didn't score a point at San Diego State, and he didn't get in double figures here. Uh, we forced him into some turnover mistakes, and that led to some fast breaks. So I think Anderson and D are big keys to them, and the Perry kid had a huge game for them, and that helped them inside. You know, this is still a, a game away before you got the length coming in, in in Gonzaga and Kentucky, but does it help when you have a first half with the younger big men? Um, the, the first half that they did, does it help light a fire under them? To well, I hope so, them? and I talked to Juana and I talked to Juana and Gigi after the game that, you know, we weren't able to really get them in the flow tonight uh, because we were really playing a team that, for the most part, other than when Perry was in there, they're playing four guards. Um, and they went small a couple times when we were in the sub pattern that we were trying to get into. So uh, Noah got a lot more of those minutes, and I thought Noah was better. He played harder, he played tougher, tried taking a charge, you know, rebound, tried rebound. He did some better things tonight than just worrying about shooting. But yeah, Gigi and Juan have got to be guys off our bench that continue to help us. And I didn't get them the minutes I wish I could have got them tonight. Hopefully, against Riverside, we can do that. Because um, then obviously come up Saturday with the size that we're going to have to deal with and then moving forward. Um, I think we'll get into more of those opponents that will be big, big up front. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.